<laughs> all right, we got the B brothers back together again. We got all three of us this time. We got Mike and uh, myself up front and Craig back there bringing up the rear. And we're doing a cutout in uh, Warren, Indiana. So hopefully it will go quicker. We've uh, revised our BVAC from the last time, last go around, and we're hoping that uh, we'll have a little easier go at it this time. But it is on the second story, so we're going to have to be on extension ladders and may have to do a cutout from the inside. We'll show you when we get there. Okay, we arrived at the scene of the cutout. And you can see the bees in there going in and out. Right underneath that window. It's kind of bright out here, so it's hard to tell. There we go. Probably see the bees a little better that way. We're gonna get on the ladder. We're gonna use our new modified B vac. I call it the back vac because we're we're using a cordless uh, vacuum. It is in the backpack and then it attaches to the B vac there. So we can go up there, just strap the backpack on, go up the ladder, and we should be able to suck them out into that. Uh, be back right there without having to use any electrical cords. And here's our stuff that we're getting ready to use to do the cutouts. Uh, we got the B brothers there. There's Mike. There's Craig. And we are ready to uh, meet this challenge here. Hopefully, we can get them all on the outside and not have to do any cutouts from the inside. That's our goal. And uh, we'll keep you posted. So close. She is so close coming out. Look at that. We got everybody sniffing around her. She's there. You got a trap? Yeah. In my pocket. Trap ready, I'll pop that top off like you see. Or like, like Rooster did. Be gentle. The other queen cells probably aren't too far behind.
Look, that one's got its antennas coming out. The queen cell does? Yeah. Look, see it? There she is. Yeah. She come out? She's coming out. Oh, which one? Right here. She's poking out right now. Yeah. She's poking out. Get your queen cage out. I got it. Hold on. Yeah, she's poking out. There, yeah, oh yeah, she's definitely coming out. There she is. Yeah, pick her up. Just pick her up. Got her? Yeah. There you go. A little shy. There she comes. She's out. Come on, baby. Keep on going. Come on, baby. There she is. Well, she's alive. So things are going a little slower than anticipated. I bet we found, what, 40 queen cells so far? Are this hives? I'm not sure we really want them. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of uh, quality beans they're going to be when we get them back to the house. But we saw two hatch out on the spot. Another one hatched out on the spot. We got her in a nuke right now with some bees, and uh, it's just amazing how many queen cells we have seen so far. They're fairly gentle. Um, they're getting a little bit more irritated with us as time goes on. But, no, uh, my stings are coming from rubbing up against them. Usually it's our fault, right? Yeah. So I'm almost 100% positive that one hatched out here while we had it loaded up. And you can see the girls fanning their, their butts in the air, saying this is now smoke. home. I think we got Queen. And uh, anyway, okay. interesting. Queen cells did we find? High 40s, low 50s. Lots of queen cells. Some, they already uh, had been released, so they already got out of the queen cells, but we saw, Mike, how I many what we see live? We saw two actually hatch, and we caught both of those in the queen traps, and um, I've never seen that before. Uh, besides on a video uh, it was pretty phenomenal and we believe that we had another one hatch inside of the, uh, the box that we were putting comb in yeah I'm almost positive there yeah but we're bringing home tons of queen cells that look good look solid we're gonna go ahead and put those in nukes and see what happens to what happens to them uh, we did the two queens that we got in the cage, we did go ahead and mark, so they're they're marked queens. I know they're virgin queens, but uh, they'll be easier for us to track them that way. So it's 2021, so the color is white, so they have, now have, they have a nice little white dot on the back of the queen, and uh, we'll know here, you know, a couple weeks whether or not they, you know, she had her mating flight and it took, and if she returns, so we'll be able to, to uh, carefully observe her. But, what, what an awesome cutout. I mean, it's lots of bees, tons of bees. Now, we're gonna make at least five nukes with the bees that we caught. They did not have a lot of comb, a lot of honey. So uh, they are gonna be ready. We'll put some feed on them and we should be good to go. What lessons learned here? What's our lessons learned this time around, Mike? What, what, would, what should we have done differently? Uh, well, we should have brought a few more nukes, uh, but who would have known we'd have needed them? No clue. We, you know, we got, the, the five gallon buckets, we got them full, but you know, with the queen cells and the queens emerging on the spot, on the fly, you know, we should have just had nuke boxes to go ahead and put them into and, and be done with that. So, Craig, what, what, what do you think we should have done differently? We could do it all over again. I think that's about it, other than not having enough boxes. I think everything else might be really smooth. Yeah. 
we uh, did uh, use our back vac, uh, the, the vacuum in the backpack, so we was cordless. We could go up there on the roof. We were on our, standing on the roof and uh, doing the cutout there. So we're having to plug in one with that big heavy B vac that we used the last time around, Mike. It would have been yeah. horrendous. So uh, we did it the right way with a cordless uh, vac and we put it into five gallon buckets. We then dumped the buckets out, of bees out into at least you know one of the nukes that we created, so that she would have some nurse bees in there with her, some attendants for that queen. But nice day. We even saw a rainbow on the way home. So you know, hey, that's a, that's a bonus, right? But uh, very good, All right? But uh, very good. Very minimal stings. The bees were very friendly. So we're looking forward to bringing them back. It does concern me how many queen cells they had and that, what that might do uh, to our population at home. You know, I don't know if that's necessarily a good genetic to have that many queen cells. I understand some bees are more prone to swarming than others, but man, that was a lot of queen cells. So. Yeah, I mean, there was a couple of combs we pulled out that had, you know, I, what they were six inches wide, uh, probably 15 inches long, and uh, they had seven or eight queen cells on them, sealed. Yep. Ready to, ready to hatch. Yeah. Uh, ready for those queens to emerge. So, since we did see some of them on the spot, you know, emerge on the spot, my my assumption is those other queen cells were going to be, you know, timed right around the same time period. So, we may get home to find out that they're all empty. We yeah. Have virgin queens in all these boxes. I don't know what to expect. But uh, all I can tell you is it was fascinating to watch and truly enjoyed it. That's it for the Bee Brothers for now. We'll uh, post this on YouTube as soon as we can. Have a good one. There's nothing like riding with some bees. Sorry about the wind, but there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Uh, it is windy out here. These are the spoils of today's labor. We've got uh, two, queen, uh, two nukes right there, Rossi number one and Warren number two. They are uh, dated 5721. Both of them have plenty of bees and plenty of queen cells. Next to them, we've got Bee Brothers number one and Bee Brothers number two. Both have plenty of bees. Uh, both have virgin queens. They have been marked. So I marked them today with a white color. So that to, to resemble 19 or 2021, sorry. So uh, white is the year for 2021. They have been marked white and uh, we'll be able to check them here in about two weeks to see you know, how they're doing. And down here, we've got what we're calling Warren number three. It's another nuke that we were created. Plenty of queen cells and plenty of bees. That one. On top of those, uh, five that I just mentioned, we even made one more split. There were so many bees and so many queen cells. So they're all in another nuke package. And uh, looking forward to seeing how all these turn out here uh, in this row. These are mostly, basically just my bee building uh, cells. These are not production hives. I don't expect to pull any honey off of any of these this year. The goal is just to build up the bee population and uh, build up my colonies so that next year in 2022 I will have a phenomenal year. So trying to work my way up to approximately 35 uh, nukes, solid nukes going into winter and we'll see how they all go. But uh, anyway, there you go. So obviously this one here on the right, uh, Bee Brothers number two, lots of bees on the outside of that one. Even as cold and windy and slightly rainy as it is, they are slightly confused. But um, you know, we just took them from their old home, from a new home. So some of them are still just getting acquainted with everything. And it's no surprise to see them out flying around. Those two, you know, doing very well, queen cells only. These two, virgin queens that are marked. So that's it for today. Thanks for following along. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you'll see more information from the Bee Brothers coming up soon. Thanks.